Hello, Tom Levecki here with a quick edition of the New Theory Podcast. Today, you're looking at the Tote Hill Mansion, formerly owned by Paul Castellano, hits the market for $16.8 million. We're going to take a look inside. Um, as people know, this was known as a White House. Uh, this is where Paul held its meetings. Eight bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, car showroom, and uh, so forth. Obviously, it's been renovated, and we'll go through it in a minute. But it's a beautiful house that resides on 177 Benedict Road. Uh, this is public information. The people that own the house now are putting it up for sale. It's uh, considered a neoclassical mansion, wine cellar, um, and, and the nine. So as you can see, very opulent home, beautiful home. I mean, if it's a $17 million home, it should look like that. Um, this was the White House where Paul uh, did most of his meetings. Um, obviously, it's refurbished. I don't recall seeing the old photos being uh, this opulent, but this is a beautiful home. Um, probably that's where most of his meetings were held, in the dining room, as I understand. Uh, beautiful living room, opulent uh, accoutrements, if you will. Um, again, this looks like it's been totally redone um, and uh, refurbished uh, to fit more of a neoclassical look, which I believe he had um, somewhat of a classical look, but not to this extent. <laughs> As you can see the gaudiness behind it. So it definitely has its... Uh, Kind of legacy, old school, uh, you know, mafia decorum. Um, as you see, the bathroom, hallway, elevator, steps downstairs. Um, I mean, this is this is this is a this is a castle. It's a beautiful home. As you see, the uh, handcrafted wood, uh, ton of pavers, ton of c cement uh, furnishings. Looks like an indoor spa. I mean, this is this is a really really nice home. Outward deck. Um, this looks like to be a bar in the basement area. Definitely looks like Italy. Uh, 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 again, uh, I'm not sure which part of it was um, um, fabricated recently and what was made during the Paul Castellan era. There's an indoor pool, which I believe was there last time. A pool room. Another bar. This is people like to drink. I mean, this is this is just and just imagine, guys. This is in Staten Island, which property is like 10x of what it is in other parts of the state. Let alone having this much real estate, this much land, uh, this much area, and this is just an opulent mansion. Here's a showroom where the Ferraris are. It looks like uh, that's obviously not a mirror. So he's got more than one. Uh, one of those is a highly specialized one, I think well over a million dollars. The other one is about 700 and change. Um, I actually know the person they bought those Ferraris from, um, which coincidentally, Castellano's son also buys his Ferraris from the same guy. Uh, and I saw him picking up a Ferrari once, which was pretty interesting. So yeah, so I got a beautiful house here, uh, just opulent, um, on the market for 16, just south of $17 million. Um, a, a far, far long way from the Castellano days and just goes to show you that uh, maybe crime does pay.